When thinking of Irish brilliance inside the UFC, one particular name always comes to mind. The notorious Conor McGregor was at one point the face of the UFC, and his contribution to the game is never to be forgotten. From being a double champ to holding finishes over legends of the game, this is the man everyone thinks about when we are talking about Irish MMA. But are we perhaps ignoring the future of Irish MMA? Ian Gary garnered his popularity under the Cage Warriors banner, quickly becoming a powerhouse name for his electrifying performances. Primarily a striker, the 25-year-old has proven in the past that he does, in fact, have a very solid ground game as well. Always confident in his approach, Gary is completely fine with fighting with his hands down. A strong chin, good head movements, and old-fashioned speed is what describes best how Gary shows up in his fights. His wrestling is at times underrated, though we haven't seen much of it as of yet in the UFC, but training with the likes of Kamaru Usman, you can only believe it's getting better. Both men train at Stanford MMA, a home to a series of UFC welterweights looking to hone their craft. Gilbert Burns has described the Irishman as crazy and high energy, and it's great to see Gary finally find his home in South Florida. He's a full of confidence. The guy talks so much, he's crazy. Uh, I, I said, fight week, I don't like to be close to you on my fight week because he get a lot of energy. I like to stay on my zone, but he's looking good. While Gary has been categorized by many as a solidified counter-striker, do not make the mistake, he won't make the first move either. Making his man miss. Here Chris Fields in the corner of Team Oh! As always in martial arts, it's always beautiful when we see a world-class striker use his wrestling to his advantage. As he enters the UFC and trains with higher-class fighters, the potential is endless for the Irishman. Immediately, Gary knocked out Jordan Williams to make his arrival into the UFC truly official. His post-fight interviews immediately drew comparisons to the likes of Conor McGregor, some claiming Gary was the second coming of the champ champ. 23, make my UFC debut at MSG. It doesn't get bigger than this. We just shook the world. The Irish are back, baby. After all, both carried the same energy and the swiftly mic skills needed to be a star. Thank you very much. Dana, 60 Gs, baby. <laughs> In his second bout within the promotion, Gary would draw some amount of controversy, claiming his passivity is why he wasn't like Connor. Despite the wins, for a man that spoke about finishing as much as Gary, well, that is what the fans wished for. Gary made it clear that in his next bout, he'd put on a solidified display of martial arts and prove to everyone why he was indeed the future. As I've said before, I'm not perfect yet. I'm getting there. No one walked into this cage, this octagon. Perfect. It's work, work, work. Every fight we get better. And that's what I'm going to do when I'm 9 and 0 now. In his next bout, the future was given Song Keenan, a power-heavy Chinese veteran. Gary came into this fight sporting a big betting line to his advantage. However, the fight wouldn't fully go his way. The first part of this round saw Gary pick apart Song from a particular distance, utilizing his kicks and teeps to his own advantage. However, a costly mistake would allow the Chinese veteran to drop Gary with a beautiful check hook, placing the Irishman in danger. Gary recovered nicely, having known that he was most likely now down one round and somewhat hurt. Gary knew he needed to bounce back well. Regardless, going through adversity is something every young fighter in MMA needs to go through. Visibly well and recovered, Gary comfortably won the second round, once more displaying his great counter-striking and precision. Hesitation. Coach Dean Thomas, what do you have, sir? I love what Gary's doing right now, and that's extending his hands. And because he was extending his hands, he was getting strong to extend his hands. Now, at one round apiece, the third round would be where essentially everything would be uncovered and found.
Gary quickly took control of the third round and was visibly more comfortable now. The damage was now piling up on the Chinese powerhouse, and with a little under two minutes left, he was on survival mode. Gary knew that with a minute left he had time to find a finish. The perfect blend between knees and punches got Song out of there. Reminiscing a prime Conor McGregor, Gary would do the infamous Billy Strut, and with his second finish inside the UFC octagon, his morale was high. Many now saw Gary as perfectly ready for an introduction to the UFC rankings. A couple of months later, Gary would be prompted to fight heavy hitter Daniel Rodriguez. Gary even predicted how he would knock out Daniel Rodriguez, going as far as to claim that given any other method, it would have been a grave mistake. Yeah, like I can tell you, I can tell you how I'm gonna knock him out. Do it. I want to hear it. Right high kick. Oh. And anything else, PT, I didn't mean. If I knock him out with anything else, I didn't mean it. That's the only shot I want. That's the knockout I want. Gary even decided to troll D-Rod before the fight, giving him some greenery and pizza. Well, it wasn't just pizza. It was cannabolics as well. We wanted to have the munchies and some pizza, right? It was way more than just pizza. Um, so yeah, we wanted him to... Look, it's mental warfare. Perhaps the mind games played a little role as D-Rod struggled to miss weight, with even him acknowledging Gary's jokes. Gary came in as a large favorite into the fight, and many expected him to get it done. The fight started off with the Irishman setting the pace from a distance, the way he likes it. Almost halfway into the round, Gary threw a high right kick that almost landed, sending a warning to the savvy welterweight veteran. And those big looping shots will not get to Ian Gary. He's gotta tighten everything up a little bit. Just a brief 30 seconds later, Gary would now find that beautiful right head kick bringing the fight to a close and sealing the deal with Daniel Rodriguez. Rodriguez had a fight with Gunnar Nelson. D-Rod goes down! Oh, Rodriguez is hurt! He's hurt bad! That head kick landed right on the money. This has got to be it, the vicious kick landed perfectly, wrapped around the neck of D-Rod, removing his balance and ending the night swiftly. Now a top 15 ranked welterweight, Ian Gary would deliver on his promise of getting a tattoo following his fight. Way, are you thinking about I am, it? I am, me and my family are going to a tattoo parlor now and I'm gonna get 15 on my shin. <laughs> today, today is a perfect day to do it. There ain't no better way to do it. Getting the hash 15 tattooed on his chin was quite the gesture considering he did it using the font D-Rod has on his own tattoos. It does seem that as of now, the rivalry has been all but closed between the two though. Though Gary already has his eyes set on another man, Gary is now tasked with facing heavy hitter Jeff Neal, a man notoriously known for his finishing ability. Similar to Gary, Neal is a natural-born finisher, but it seems that Gary may have some help by his side, one of Gary's main training partners is none other than Shavkat Rachmanov. Only a couple of months ago, the Nomad finished Jeff Neal in cold blood and could perhaps guide Gary into doing the same. Despite Shavkat getting the finish, he learned a lot, and Neal has defeated the likes of Bilal Muhammad in the past. Gary has also spent some time training in Sao Paulo, with none other than Charles Oliveira. Training with the likes of Charles Oliveira is no joke at all, and he is only getting better with this. Gary's willingness to go across camps and train with the best will truly set him apart and allow him to become an insane fighter. Now a father, Gary has a lot on the line each fight. It's hard to fill in the shows of the always great notorious Conor McGregor. The UFC needs a new Irish superstar, as the notorious one seemingly is on his way off. A father and a fighter, Ian Gary's potential is essentially endless. At only 25, his hunger is very evident and still there. This is what I love to do. This is my work. This is my life. This is my job. But this is my fun. And if I can't do this, then I won't be happy. As always, make sure to drop us a like and subscribe to our channel.